It's extreme physics. And tonight, our contestants need to keep things balanced or else. They are Kiva from Castle Wellen, Susan from Swatra, and Trevor from Tandragee. And here's your host, Isaac Neutron. Please, please sit down because we have a standout show for you this evening. It's all about balance and here's someone sure to tip you over the edge, Dr. Rula. Hi, Isaac. Today, we will use a suspended meter rule and attached weights to verify the principle of moments. And there's no doubt I would like to have a few extra moments with you, but for now, Dr. Rula, this is your moment. Thank you, Isaac. For this experiment, we will require a meter rule, retort stand, boss and clamp, mass hangers and set of masses, string, scissors, G-clamp and some safety goggles. The principle of moment states that if an object is balanced, the clockwise moment about a point equals the anti-clockwise moment about the same point. We set up the apparatus as shown here. Balance the meter rule at its 50 centimeter point, which is its center of gravity. It remains horizontal when balanced. We suspend the mass M1 from one side of the roller at a distance D1 from the pivot. Record the mass in kilograms and the distance from the pivot, which is read from the meter rule. Then we suspend a second different mass, M2, from the other side of the ruler and we adjust this until the ruler is balanced again. We then record this mass in kilograms and the distance, D2, from the pivot to the mass, M2. Repeat this several times using different distances or masses, each time making sure that the meter rule is horizontal. We record the results in a table. The force, F1, is the weight calculated using W equals M1 times G. The force, F2, is weight calculated using W equals M2 times G. Remember that each mass must be in kilograms. The clockwise and anti-clockwise moments are then calculated using the formula. Moment equals force times perpendicular distance from the pivot. By demonstrating that these moments are equal, we verify the principle of moments. Rula, you truly are opening the doors to perception, but now it's time to play Extreme Physics! Well, this is going to be an interesting moment for everyone involved. We have two courageous audience members on either side of a giant seesaw. Wendy weighs in at 60 kilos, while Kieran tips the scales at 100 kilos exactly. But at which point on the seesaw will you place them both to keep it balanced? Get it wrong and one of them will sleep with the fishes tonight. Get it right and you'll win a quiet moment for yourself with this extreme physics mug and slipper set. Ruler, it's high stakes tonight. What's going to happen? Well, for the moments to be equal, you need to remember that the moment equals force times distance from the pivot. It's not complex, but it's important. Three, two, one, go! Eva from Castle Wellen, what's your answer? I'm putting Wendy at five metres and Karen at four metres. No, wait, three metres maybe? Is she right? Let's take away the blocks. Yes, as you can see, when this anti-clockwise moment is 600 newtons times 5 meters, which equals 3,000 newton meters, as does Kieran's clockwise moment of 1,000 newtons times 3 meters. Everyone is safe. Well, that was a close one. So, it's a relieved good night from everyone here at Extreme Physics. But you know what I always say, if it ain't fun... It's physics!